there 24 hours a day, and when you go to sleep and the body goes in its physiology to a lower breathing pattern, and now you're sucking it into your lungs all night long, guess what? You're going to have some symptoms you don't want. You won't even know that your own home environment is causing it. Symptom means a sign or a signal of something else. Look it up in a good dictionary. A sign or a signal of something else. The something else is an offense. Here's how the scene goes. You're walking along one day, pretty soon you're like, mm. and you feel like you need to puke. If grandma would have saw that you needed to puke, she'd have said, drink a glass of water, stick your finger down your throat and puke. Something's trying to come out. Oh, Grandma, are you kidding me? <laughs> they call it nausea. That's Latin for I need to puke. <laughs> but we don't know that. That's a disease. Grandma, do you not realize that nausea could cause you to become dehydrated? Unless you drink some water. So there you are. You run down and you get your modern miracle weapon of war in the fight against nausea. You take the thing and it's a neurotoxin that blocks the brain from being able to signal the stomach so it'll convolute and get rid of the problem. You shut it down. You think, <laughs> the age in which you live felt like you needed to puke, took a pill. I'm good to go. <laughs> problem is, the offense still sitting there. You just shut down the symptom, which is the avenue of getting rid of the cause. Are you following me? Yeah. Now all of a sudden you're walking along. You think you're good. You just added more poison to the original offense with that toxic drug. You don't know that. You're a good little believer. <laughs> so there you go. Pretty soon the body wakes up to what's happening and goes, whew, we got to run this out the, oh, I'm sorry, back door. Ooh, I got, <laughs> they call that the runs because you feel like you better run. Nobody wants to deal with that crap. So there you are. Grandma seeing you at the runs. She said, girl, you get yourself in the bathroom, you give yourself an enema. Or you go down and see a colonic therapist. Those people do good things. Cleaning up the house. That's all it needs. We need to clean the house. If you don't want to do that, get a glass of warm water. Take a tablespoon of Epsom salts. Drink it. It'll flush it out. You're like, grandma, are you kidding me? I can't be doing that. That's disgusting. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get an anti-diuretic medication. Diarrhea is Latin for you got the runs. <laughs> you take the medication in the fight against the disease of diarrhea. Diarrhea, we're told, can be dangerous because you can become dehydrated. Unless you drink some water. <laughs> so there you are. You take the medication, dries it all up. Hell, you couldn't poop if you wanted to. <laughs> but you're happy because you took a miracle drug. 400 million did the studies just to bring that to you. So there it was. You dry it up. Pretty soon the brain gets involved. Says, Bobby. Yeah, boss. I'm calling down because there's a real offense in the house now and it's getting worse. I know, boss. Bobby, I thought I told you to throw it out the front door. We tried. They shut us down. The boss says, oh, yeah, I remember that. Didn't I tell you to run out the back door? Yeah, boss, they dried that up. We can't get it out of the house. <laughs> boss? Yeah, Bobby. What are we going to do now? Well, Bobby, we're going to do the only thing we can do at this point. We're going to absorb it through the mucosal lining, through the colonic wall, put it into the interstitial tissues. We're going to get the lymphatic stream involved. We're going to collect it, and we're going to shove it up to the lungs. It's going to take several months, but we'll get it there. Boss, why are you going to run it up to the lungs? Well, Bobby, when I designed the lungs clear back there in the womb, I created the ability of the lungs to create huge gobs of mucus. We'll surround it. I'll create a cough response. We'll hack it right out the front door. <laughs> Bobby's like, I like how you think. <laughs> so there it is. Several months later, you're walking along. <laughs> coughing. You have... Lung congestion. You have a cough. Grandma seeing that, I say, okay, that's it. You're staying home. This is going to take five to seven days. You're going to rest. You're going to drink hot water with fresh lemon juice and some raw Australian organic honey. And it'll clear it out. 
And it does. Oh, Grandma. <laughs> you are so silly. I, I, you're just old. <laughs> and you run down and get your new weapon of war. You get anti-lung congestion medication. You get anti-cough syrup. You even get some real sweet cherry flavored cough lozenges that you can just suck on all day. And after a while, five to seven days, seems to clear it up. Boss called them, Bobby, they shut us down again. Yes, boss, what are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do, Bobby. We're going to have to try to run this whole mess out of the largest organ of elimination and getting rid of stuff that we have. What's that, boss? The skin. It's going to take a year. Could take a year and a half. Pretty soon, you're going to have wealth. You might have rashes. You might have eczema. You might have psoriasis. You might have a boil. You might have pimples. And you're going to think it's some kind of a mysterious disease. Because that's what they're going to tell you it is. Grandma seeing that crab say, okay, here's what you do. Just cut a fresh lemon, put it all over that rashy, scaly, itchy area. Do it about six times a day. And whenever you can, get out there in the sun for about 20, 30 minutes. And it'll heal it up. And it does. But you don't know that. That is too silly. You don't want to be putting lemon on you, getting in the sun, because in July 1967, and Grandma must have forgot, because it was announced that on that day, the sun came up, had changed its mind about loving people, and wanted to kill them all. <laughs> cool. There's one. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. The sun's there to kill you now, people. So, there it is. You avoid that. Over time, you run down and you get your steroid topical creams. You start rubbing it down. It doesn't let the crap out of the body. And that's all it's trying to, the tubes are trying to clean the house. That's what they do. That's how you stay healthy and vital and alive is venting, cleaning. You vent 24 hours a day. When you breathe, you breathe in and out 20,000 times a day. You're venting metabolic waste. It turns it into gases, spews it out, takes in fresh gas. Go down and get some more crap, throw it out. That's the number one venting you have. When you sweat, oh, I'm sorry, girls, they glisten. So <laughs> when you sweat, when you perspire, you're venting. You're cleaning the house. You're supposed to. You wear antiperspirant. You're going to have lumps. You're going to have problems. You're being set up. Google it. So then what's going on is when you need to puke, you're venting. Diarrhea, you're venting. Stuff coming out of the skin, it's venting. You're having pain, your body is preparing for venting. It used to be called prevention. Now, prevention is a medical program for early detection of disease. Come on in early. We'd love to treat you early. We'd love to treat you 80% of the time when you don't even have a problem. That's about as early as you can get right there. So there it is. It used to be called fluing. You build a house and it's got a chimney. You got this little thing you open up if you build a fire so it'll flu. It'll, it'll vent. You follow me? If it's cold weather, you shut the flu so the cold air which sinks doesn't come down into the house. That's the flu. Oh, but Don, flu's a disease. You get nauseous. You get diarrhea. You get headaches. Yeah, that's right. The body has to clean. That's what it's doing. But we treat it like it's some hideous, mysterious monster thing. Some bug floated in from some foreign country. And it's there just to get us. And it's so interesting how all of the flu seasons follow the Chinese calendar. Because that's where most of the vaccines come out. And you know about it. 2007, it was a year of chicken. We had bird flu. The next year was a year of horse, so we had horse flu. 
2009, it's a year of the pigs, so we got swine.